All right. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Uh, my name is Parisa Tabriz, and I work at Google as engineering director. I'm responsible for Chrome security, uh, Project Zero, and a lot of our SSL efforts. And it is a woo! Uh, it's a huge, huge honor to open the Our Security Advocates Conference, or Our SA, um, this morning. Oh. Um, so since this is a first time event, uh, I thought I would share just a little bit of history about how we got here. It's a very short history. Um, uh, I'm sure many of you are familiar with some of the noise that happened on Twitter in late February. Uh, there was an announcement of one of the largest and most established security conferences uh, that just happens to be uh, coincidentally happening right down the street. And uh, some noise on Twitter about the lack of diversity and that uh, announcement of keynotes. And so I saw this. I saw some tweets from my friends, Amy, Alex, and some other folks. Reached out to them as well as some other like-minded peers and uh, experts in security and privacy and said, hey, we should do something. And so we did. Uh, and that's really uh, the whole story of how we got here. Um, our organizing committee is all comprised of folks that have full-time jobs, uh, that have nothing to do with event organization. So it's been a bit of a whirlwind over the past couple weeks to get here. Um, and we're all a bit scattered across the country. But it all came together in about five days, and we launched our conference site. Uh, it's been an inspiring and really humbling experience um, to just have everything come together in a couple weeks, and uh, in part aided by some of the technology that a lot of us have helped build or um, influence in some way. So some important details, uh, Wi-Fi, of course, everyone is wondering about that. Wi-Fi details, if you need them, are on your conference badge at the bottom. You want to use the hashtag. Uh, and then bathrooms are over there. Um, social uh, tags and accounts, if you want to take part in the conversation, are uh, RSA conference and RSA 18. You can see that we're um, showing some of the, the tweets on this wall, and we'll be doing that through the rest of the day. Why RSA? Why do we want to do this event? So, uh, you know, technology today is more central to people's lives than it's ever been. And we see that it's evolving at this incredible and, uh, frankly, overwhelming uh, pace. And I think especially in recent months, we've seen that a lot of security and privacy issues are increasingly human factors issues. You know, it's about getting people to understand uh, their settings and the software they're using and to tweak their settings to their personal preferences. It's about getting people to install updates and to act on alerts. Uh, it's about giving analysts tools to spot attacks and also for us to be thinking about how emergent technologies will actually impact society and to help safeguard them. Now, given all that, it's more important than ever that our security and privacy platforms are really built to uh, reflect the diversity of our users, of our employees, and of our administrators um, of the world for those of us that work on products that are really meant to serve the entire world. And so I'm incredibly proud of the perspectives that we're going to be sharing on stage today. We have speakers from industry, from academia, from the media, from nonprofits and government, uh, and other organizations in the public sector. We have speakers uh, that will share their viewpoints as engineers, as policymakers and designers, as lawyers, as researchers, as journalists and professors, as business executives, public servants, and much more. And uh, I think we're going to have a, an awesome day of, of content and discussion. Wanted to share some stats about the conference. So I mentioned we put this together in about five days, less than five days. Uh, we sold out in less than 12 hours. And I want to give a special thanks to anybody that bought a ticket but wasn't actually able to um, uh, get a physical ticket to, to uh, attend the event in person. A number of people bought tickets to be there in spirit. And um, those contributions are, are very welcome as well. And it was a great show of, of support. We, uh, as you may have seen, we launched the conference with uh, most of our agenda actually filled, but we left it open for some talk submissions as, as well, and we got nearly 100 talk submissions in just a couple hundred days. In just a couple days, um, we obviously weren't able to include even a small portion of those talks, but a lot of people were interested in participating and, and speaking. 
And something I'm especially proud of is that 100% of the folks that will be on stage, so all of our speakers, our session chairs, as well as the panel moderators, all come from traditionally underrepresented backgrounds in uh, security and privacy. So uh, we couldn't have done this without the help from a lot of people. So thanks to our corporate sponsors. Um, first, I want to give a huge thanks to Cloudflare um, for providing this gorgeous event space. Um, yes. Yeah. It's an in incredible space. Um, they've been hugely generous. I want to say thanks to Ashley and her production team for putting all of this together. I know how to do none of this, um, and it's so profesh. Uh, so thank you to all of our, our corporate sponsors, also particularly our advocate level sponsors. Um, so those are the ones that you know gave us the most money. Uh, and so thanks to, to Bank of America, again, Cloudflare, uh, Dropbox, Facebook, FireEye, Google, Habitat, MailChimp, Netflix, Palo Alto Networks, and Uber. Thank you for giving us money when we had no idea what we were doing. Um, you know, uh, we appreciate you uh, supporting us in this uh, fully and very generously. All of the, the proceeds, um, which I think is upwards of $70,000, will be donated to a number of charities that we think are, are aligned with the, the mission of this conference. Um, we're going to be donating proceeds to Hack the Hood, Black Girls Code, the Center for Cybersecurity and Education, and also the International Consortium for Minorities in Cybersecurity Professionals. All right, next, very importantly, I would like to thank our organizing committee. Again, all of these folks, uh, you know, really rallied over the past couple of weeks. Many of them have, uh, you know, full-time jobs that have nothing to do with this. So thank you to Dina, Chris, Megan, Melanie, Anshul, Kelly, Leah, Ashley, Adrian, Mark, Bria, Alex, and Amy for taking your evenings, your weekends, uh, part of your workday to make all of this happen. And uh, finally, I'd like to thank all of you and people on the live stream. Thank you for dialing in. Uh, it's been um, really incredible and exciting to just see how much support there has been. Um, people that have reached out, all of you that are, are here. And uh, I'm excited uh, to just to, to uh, be here and take part in this. Putting together this event, it couldn't have happened without a lot of people. Um, I'd like to invite Michelle Zatlin, who's the founder, co-founder of, of Cloudflare, and her organization, as I said, has been so instrumental in putting this together. Um, I first met Michelle at a tech conference in San Francisco, and we've stayed in touch ever since. And uh, she's always been a supporter of projects like RSA. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, I'm delighted to have her share a couple words. Thank so, you so much. Yeah. Thanks, Parisa. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, as Prisa said, my name is Michelle Zatlin. I'm the founder and CEO of Cloudflare. Welcome to our corporate headquarters. Um, I really want to say on behalf of our whole team, we're just so proud to be hosting today's event. Uh, and I'm just the one who gets to be lucky up here and, and welcome all of you. So welcome. Uh, I just want to say a few minutes, and then we'll get on with the show. Uh, so many of us in this room and on the live stream think about security and privacy every day of our jobs. And what and what we've seen really over the last 18 months as this this news continues to come to the f uh, forefront is like it can't this event can't come at a better time so i'm so excited to hear about all the different topics and the different points of view we're going to hear about today because i really believe this is a uh, uh topics that are just going to continue to come to the forefront and we need to be having conversations like we're going to have today you know as Parisa said, it's really, really important that we're building products from a di for the diversity of our users. And we think about that every day at Cloudflare. We're helping make the internet faster and safer for web surfers around the world. And so it's something we think a lot about. And I'm really excited to hear from the innovators today that are spending their time working on these complex problems to learn from all of them. Um, you know, I know that I've always said when you have a diverse team, you get way better outcomes. And of course, now all the research uh, shows that as well. And so I cannot, um, whether it's from where you are or what type, what gender you are or what your background is from or where you grew up, those are all different for forms of diversity. And I'm really excited to hear from the different um, uh, 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 panelists today from how they're approaching these different problems, because I think it'll all make us better in our jobs. When Parisa and Amy didn't like the speaker lineup at, at the conference down the street and, and and they didn't they got a pretty disappointing answer from the, the other organizers what i admire most is it's one thing to talk about and complain about things but they actually came up with a solution and they did something about it 
Um, and then they came up with a solution. They put forward and in 12 hours to get sold out for this. So clearly people want an alternative. And what I always say that is entrepreneurship as its finest. So I love that so much. Um, today is learning more about the science behind what's going on, getting into the weeds, the technology, uh, and learning more about the hard problems that companies are signing up to solve. Cause a lot of these problems are really hard and we're going to get into the weeds of that today. And most importantly, you're going to get to meet the people who are working on it, which, which is probably the best part. So thank you to everybody who worked tirelessly to put this event on. Um, Parisa thanked all of them, but really it, could, it was a real team effort. And this is something truly unique. And I know something that I'm personally proud to be a part of, and I hope all of you enjoy the day. And so with that, let's get today started.